first cruise ship voyeur, a city of Kissimmee employee accused of taking naked videos of over 100 people. Some of the victims as young as four or five years old. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. This happened on Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. News Six's Treasure Roberts is live in the newsroom. And Treasure, the suspect is on home arrest, so you went to his house to try to talk to him? I sure did, Matt. I also learned the city of Kissimmee fired Jeremy Froyas shortly after learning about the arrest. He's accused of recording upwards of 150 people in a public restroom on the cruise ship. According to investigators, about 40 of them appear to be children. A Kissimmee man is now out of a job and facing charges of video voyeurism. Jeremy Froyas worked for the city of Kissimmee as a cybersecurity officer since 2004. He was fired Monday after the city learned of the charges. A spokesperson for the city said at the time of his hire and throughout his tenure, he met all background check requirements. It's not the first, it may not be the last. Cruise ship expert Stuart Sheeran said this could have happened anywhere. The cameras just continue to get smaller and it's really nothing that anybody could have done to, to prevent it. According to the FBI, Froyas was a passenger on a week-long Harmony of the Seas cruise that left from Miami on April 29th. Agents said on April 30th, Froyas set up a hidden Wi-Fi camera in a public restroom. It was placed in a section of the wall above the door, which had been removed for repairs. A criminal complaint shows the next day another passenger found the camera and reported it to the ship's crew. Of the people filmed, investigators say 40 of them appeared to be children. I went to Froyas's listed address in Kissimmee to ask him a few questions. Before I could say anything, this is what the man said. Are you are you Jeremy? No. Do you happen to know Jeremy? Huh? Do you happen to know Jeremy? It's still unclear if this man is connected to the suspect in any way. Court records show Froyas is on home confinement, cannot have access to the internet, and can have contact with his own children. Sharon believes cruise ship companies may consider new security measures following this incident. That's what this industry does, is that they learn from experiences of activities that happen on different cruise ships. If you or your children were victimized by Froyas or have information that can assist the FBI in their investigation, there's a form you can fill out on our website at clickorlando.com. Matt, Lisa.